Hey everybody! Hey my dear Sagittarius! Happy happy birthday when you are Sagittarius! And for all of you guys, a big thank you that you are watching here the video. Um, yeah, so this is the energy of the fiery Sagittarius. This is how I interpret it and uh, I think that uh, a dance track like that is really the right thing to characterize just the energy of a lot of optimism, a lot of fire. Uh, the other thing is Mercury is retrograde um, that will happen here um, from the 19th of December till the 8th of January more or less but just you know just uh, in this time or just a little bit like um, already from the let's say from the 10th till just the 15th let's say 20th this is a time to really slow down to really um, clean the last year just clean everything that you don't want um, have in the new year for yourself don't start new things don't go to surgeries don't buy any new technology don't start any new um, knowledge or just any new schooling or anything everything which is new just don't do it you know you can just uh, work on on old stuff maybe you want to uh, change your website or just do anything um, just uh, you know change anything which is already there and make it perfect or something like that or just better uh, just to clear really the energy and the old uh, to start something new in the new year have a good time hi dear cancer welcome to your december reading for the year 2016 if you are cancer in your sun sign your moon sign or your ascendant sign uh, here we go with your extra cards i'm gonna pull them always when i have some questions and i really uh, want to um, have a deeper look into your situation uh, yeah, this might be necessary for you and replying to you if you are uh, living in an English-speaking area of the world. So it doesn't matter, that could be England, it could be Australia, whatever. When you feel like drawn um, to this English-speaking video that I made, then um, it might resonate with you too. Um, those videos are very, very often and surprising, surprisingly uh, resonating uh, with me a lot. That's why I'm so totally fascinated of this uh, topic here and uh, that's why I just really loved like the oracles and all that stuff so um, yeah cancer cancer December 2016 I'm gonna pull those extra cards blindly and I'm not gonna see what I'm pulling and then the pictures are just showing up and then this the interesting thing is to uh, interpret them and uh, then the spirit can speak to us all right, here we go. So here we go with the first part of the month. From the 1st till the 10th of December, we have here um, in your health sector. So that means uh, it has to do with your health, but also with your uh, general well-being, okay? And we have here a card that is saying like transformation and change. That is very, very um, general, of course. It is a general, general reading. That can be uh, that um, it's it's not that total um, change, the total, total change for everybody. Of course not. There could be also that you feel a little bit tired because I see also, and that's the next point, that in your working environment that could be some gossip or some secrets or some maybe bad issues going on under your back. Maybe you feel that and you feel like drawn. It could it could be even, I mean, I don't know, when I say the word, word black magic, um, the point is just, yeah, black magic is a little bit weird to say it like that, but very often it's drowning our energy when somebody's jealous and we see this person every day. The auras, your aura, um, has a very very big um, range uh, I don't know is it the word amplitude is it the right word my English is a crap so I'm sorry for my English <laughs> also in every video but <laughs> um, you know what I mean the, the aura can also go through uh, walls for example I was living once in an apartment and um, the next wall there was the other apartment and I felt the people literally in my living room sitting 
I felt that it was just too close, even though that was just like, uh, I don't know, 70 quadrat meters, square meters, square meters, quadrat meter, that's German, okay? <laughs> but um, I think you know what I mean. And those energies, they are real. Otherwise, that would be real too. Um, be, get rid of negative energies. You can wear a black tourmaline, that's a stone. You can um, make a salt peeling for your skin. That's also very good, good for your skin. And your skin will, will feel very soft af after that. But salt is also a very good thing. Um, or camphor, camphor, that's German. But you know what? Actually, toxic... It's just toxic. You can also imagine that this energy of them just is pulling away. Like, um, imagine there's a mirror in front of you and you can just pull the energy away that's bothering you. But, you know, you have to be disciplined in that and do it often. If you are very disciplined in that and do it quite three times per day when there's really those negative issues. And I see here the devil also in your working environment. But... It could be gossip and it could be bullshit and maybe you're at the wrong time at, and, and at the wrong place and God has actually another plan with you, okay? So, you know, changes are part of life too. But I just see it here a lot. Okay. With your money... With your money, um, that could be that you ha actually have to wait for your money or to ha uh, to wait for jobs. This is just a calm down time, really like very calm energy. Um, maybe there is not so much working going on. Maybe you have you are in vacations or whatever. But what about your money? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, and this is what I mean, you know, you feel like here very much like um, I'm done, I'm tired, I don't want anymore. And here you actually can really, really um, rely on your uh, inner wisdom, inner voice within yourself. Because the high priestess, um, it's, a, it's a wisdom card, it's a major arcana, totally spiritual, out of the place card. So, so much spirituality. You're a water sign um, uh, and you, you also have this ability to uh, look within yourself and to um, hear your inner voice, for sure. There's cheating. I was asking for money. There are too many people fighting for the money or just fighting in general. Please be careful in your work. Could you change it? Could, could you change there's something? This is what I get. It may, may apply to you and may not apply to you. A general reading, yeah? <laughs> so, all right. But this is what the card as, our cards are saying to me. But And also... And this is the most important thing also too, my dear Cancer. I don't want to shock you. The point is just the High Priestess is a safety card. So that's a, that means also that you are still safe, even though they try to manipulate you. But you are safe because always when you trust your intuition, when you have the feeling there is gossip, there is some cheating in this work, blah, blah, blah. And you hear me say that and then it makes to you like, yes. Trust your inner instincts and then you will be safe because you can swim around it. What means swim? Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, and um, then we have here everything that you're doing aside, like few hours. Maybe an extra job to have more extra money. This is one possibility. Or you are artistic, creative, and you make something artistic, creative, anything like that. Um, if it's your job or just a thing uh, that a hobby. Yeah, but I treat that equally. Uh, because it's important for, uh, for, for those people who are doing that, if it's like with money or not. Or that could be also charity work and helping children, peop uh, older people or animals, yeah? And there is the King Raphael, and the King Raphael, um, he can give you a very good advice in artistic, artistical stuff or something. He's very creative, but also very experienced. Um, he could be also a very good coach. Or he is a, a social worker, that could be also the case. But what about the artists? <laughs> King of Cups. Okay, maybe this King of Cups it can be you. Okay, and you are already really this artist, um, you know, and really professional uh, and uh, already de developed your skills and, and so. But, um, and what I see here more, 
it could be really for the, for a lot of you a man that uh, that is coaching you or, or giving you very 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 um, high value advice for your um, stuff you are doing. That could be also a coach or somebody who is giving you advice just to make a profession out of that. Whatever you want, there is somebody who can give you this advice. You have here the high priestess, and that means that you um, can also you will you will feel if if this uh, right person in this area will stand in front of you because you have the sixth sense here. Let's say it like that. Okay, what about the extra money? No, no, no. Go to vacations. Okay. Charity work, yeah, a little blockage. Maybe you don't have time, money, or anything for it. Okay, we have here love, love life, and here we have new beginnings in a way. Maybe there is a new pattern of thinking that makes better results. That could be really a inner process, but that could be um, also a real new um, friendship. That could be also a very, very good friendship that you feel very much loved. Or with family and friends, a good, good feeling. Or just really, literally, uh, the love uh, coming into your life and a relationship. But let's see what will be with a single lady. Yeah, you're flirting. Oh my gosh, you feel you're very much in love and the partners too. Let's see what will be out of that. <laughs> what will be out of that? Maybe it's just you have to uh, be careful of a little bit illusions. Just be careful a little bit. Time will show what will be out of that, but don't push it, okay? <laughs> okay, single man. Yeah, yeah, you maybe, you know, you feel not stable maybe in general. And also, of course, yeah, I see that also with the money, okay? Maybe this is bothering you. You would have good chances, but actually you have. I have the feeling that you are blocking yourself a little bit. Okay, what about the couple ones? Couple cancels? Hmm. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. You and there's actually this new start going on. These are aces. I was pulling three aces. One ace, Raphael. Then we have an ace of wands on the on the head. And we have an ace of pentacles. Also not right. If if the cards would, would be like that, that would be a new beginning. But it's not. It's just on the wrong side, yeah? Maybe you want a new beginning. Maybe you would like to actually leave. Maybe a lot of you would actually leave or just stop any kind of thing you're doing that's um, not good for your relationship. But you feel blocked. And um, the thing you want to you wanna leave or you want to do new, first we have to leave something and then we can do something new, is blocked. And that's maybe something you will know what I mean. It's general reading and every cancer is different. Okay, um, yeah. That could be also be that uh, people in your surrounding are indecisive, that they take their time and um, it's not worth to push them for something. That could be everybody. People in your surrounding could be your lovers, could be your children, could be people in your workspace. You have to maybe wait for res respond and also maybe for letters. That could be also the case here. Mm. And now, my dear Cancer, <laughs> we go here from the 10th to the 20th of December and we have here in your health three Raphael. And that could be that you're just feeling very, very good with friends and with family. 10th to the 20th. But you know what? It's actually more the middle of the month. You must imagine this is the first part of the month, this is the second part of the month, and this is just the last part of the month. And um, the month is quite long. I think it has just 31 days. Is that true? And um, you can just also imagine that could be just like from the 22nd, yeah? Uh, from the, I'm sorry, from the 12th or from, from the 30, 13th or something. 
Um, this is just the middle of the month and you feel here very, very good. Maybe you are talking with good friends and uh, they just make you feel better. Maybe you can have here also a very good advice from friends and from family or something. Uh, also regarding your work situation. And um, yeah, what about those who actually have really issues? Yeah. Those who actually have really, really those big issues, maybe you are not active here and it's, it's not possible to do something uh, against it. Could be that you just um, have good contact with your friends and family and they um, are very, very important to you. But I don't see here a chance change in that. This is what I'm getting here too. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have here um, again in your work. I want to know here about money. Money in general, and I am also asking those two areas here. Yeah? My dear Cancer, this is the same card that we already pulled. There are really a lot of people who actually doesn't want, they are not cooperating and they are fighting against each other and maybe totally against you. And there is in your surrounding maybe really gossip going on. And with money, Maybe that's, you are, can also be in a situation that um, a lot of people are doing the same job as you and everybody is fighting for the same um, source. Not cool. Not cool. You have to take a decision here, you know. I mean, I'm um, working here with um, with uh, Dorian Virtue Angel Tarot. Okay, but I bought that, these cards here in um, in Switzerland and I'm in the, in the German part of Switzerland. That's why the cards are just in the German language. But it doesn't matter. The um, pictures are everywhere the same in the world. And we have here really 15. Um, there, there is really standing on this card here above decision. Decision. Just in German, but it's just the same word but you know what make a decision for your future and the December is cool for that because um, this is really like we end up a um, old old year and uh, step into the new year and this is a very very cool thing to really um, analyze um, patterns of beliefs analyze everything that happened all the situations in our lives and uh, really you know put some candles on put some nice smell around the room or something and really grab your diary and just analyze the whole year this is cool i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that and i am really looking forward to totally and really analyze the whole year yeah and then decide what will come into 2017 and what will um, just stay in the past and take a decision or try to this is what i'm getting here totally because this is really it's standing there, but it's also fitting that it stands there. Mm -hmm. Creative stuff and stuff, whatever. Whatever, you know, you are sad here. Maybe you are sad because you don't have so much time for your creativity. You're sad because there is no money. You're sad. Artists. Maybe there is some criticizing. You're criticizing your, um, your situation or something. And maybe you're doing maybe a, a project or a thing that is not really for you. That could be also for some of you. Also here maybe there is a decision needed. Yeah. Your love life. That's nice. There's a card of abundance and of um, a lot of vitality. And sexuality and really enjoying your life on earth here. This is also a card of pregnancy. Maybe some of you could be pregnant here. If you don't want that, please take care. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Take care who you meet and so on and so on also. Because we have still this devil thing. Even though it is in your profession. It doesn't matter that, uh, that it's lying there in this... Um, point there okay single ladies the star yeah you know what in case of having a good future and you can have a very good future but first you have to heal your broken heart if you don't heal your broken heart and also don't heal things from the past no new love will come in 
or you will repel them because you're not ready. This is what I'm getting for the single ladies. But still, you are a very abundant and very, very beautiful and very, very loving woman. We are all loving women, right? The woman is born to love. Not born to be a bitch and not born to uh, co um, compete with other women here on this planet. But this is what they sell us there. But I'm going to do this video also with the Scorpio, right? Maybe you already saw it. See it. Already see it. <laughs> um, you have this opportunity to have a very good future as a woman here on this planet Earth in your love life. But you really have to heal first your broken heart. Single man. You are afraid here also, you know. You are afraid just to open up. And I would guess that um, the issue is also for you the same advice than for the women to heal your broken heart if there is something. Maybe you don't feel it and maybe it's like... Maybe there is also no issue from the past. Maybe this is just the case that it's not yet there. Okay, and for the coupled ones, the good energy, the good morals actually on um, on the downside. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, those uh, positive uh, cards, they are really uh, not on the right side. This is not a good sign. I just see that you really have to talk, really talk about really those stuff that you want. And I had this communication um, issue already men mentioned, right? You need better communication. That's what I get here totally. Did I have that for you? Yes, I did, right? Where is this card? Communicate better. People in your surrounding, indecisiveness. People in your surrounding, when you need some letters, some uh, decisions, whatever, you have to wait for them because they have their own tempo. Um, trust it better in, in yourself and in, in your own um, thing of doing and um, and so on and so on and not so much on others. This is what I'm getting here too. On the other hand, the, um, the other people, they're very patient. Maybe they're waiting also for something and for you. That could be also the case. In general, they could be everywhere, how I said already, okay? Friends, family, children, everybody. Good. And now we have here from the 20th till the end of December and Merry Christmas. If you if you are into Christmas, I love Christmas because um, that's the problem. Not, not the problem, but then I think like everybody loves Christmas, which is not the case. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, this is just a time that everything is just like candles are on. Everything is so cozy. There are everywhere sweets around and so <laughs> and cookies to eat. And uh, this is just a time to really calm down a little bit and there are also vacations. So I would say, even though you, you are not into Christmas, I just wish you also a very, very nice and pleasant time. And some peace also, of course, for us all. Okay, but what will be now in your telescope? We have here in your well-being and so uh, cheating. We have Mercury retrograde, no surgeries. Nothing new in your health, nothing. You will maybe do it again then after a while. This is really try to wait for a better time to do something that would maybe not be successful or even worse. Yeah, but I would wait. Mm -hmm. And don't believe too much uh, the doctors what I'm talking about. Go also to the third doctor. That's also the case. Okay, in your work and your money and so, yeah, you are already on a better track and you maybe start here something new or you um, you build up a new business or a new opportunities to make some money, a little bit more money is there. But I have the feeling that um, you can um, actually feel here more safe or just be more safe with your money, but not yet. You have to build that thing up, up what you are doing here. For some of you that could be something new, for the other ones that could be just a little money coming in, but actually not that much. Uh, yeah. 
a lot of you maybe also are paying for children and maybe you pay here too much maybe you're paying for this wife or some something actually too much that could be also the case that you actually have to check that out this is what i'm getting okay um, of course, it's okay to it's, it's necessary and important to pay for children. That's not what I mean. But sometimes it's just like too much and it's not fair. And uh, you have to maybe check out if this is really fair. Or you have so many children and then it's up to you. So you did it on your own. <laughs> and if you are a single mom and you take care for your children on your own and the guy is not paying, this is also the other um, scenario for you. And uh, this is both bullshit. And I have the feeling that our society um, just doesn't take care also for single moms. And this is a big, big, huge issue also. So that could be like on one hand that um, men are just sometimes are paying really the last cent on one hand. And on the other hand, there are also these issues that actually women are just working, working and have all the work on on uh, on their self so this is just th these are just also possibilities i see also for you my dear cancer projects there is a decision making you maybe you you make here a decision a new decision what will be out of this decision or what will be for the artists just in general well, you know what? Maybe you just decide not to fight for it, not to do it further, and then you just leave it. You maybe think like, okay, let's just check out this vacation thing. Maybe just uh, don't don't touch it right now. You know, maybe you are just don't deal even with that. Maybe you don't practice anymore. You don't do anything like that. Maybe you you are doing it later. This is what I'm getting here totally. Okay, what about the um, let's say extra money? You can have here some extra money if you if you are willing to have an extra job. This is up to you. But you can find here something. Yeah, you can really find here something. This is very, very cool. Maybe also necessary for some of you, not for everybody as well. Charity work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you're not yet ready. That's what I see still, of course. I wouldn't also say that. Uh, love life. Ah, you maybe have to set here some boundaries or you are jealous. Oh, there is some jealousy. What about the single ladies? Your needs are not met here. And you have to set the boundaries. Maybe somebody uh, want to sell you any bullshit and don't, don't let them in. This is the message. What about the single man? Okay, queen of... Queen of Swords on uh, not on the right side, and also some uh, some money and some setting boundaries. Okay, just be careful with which women you are actually having contact. They actually maybe just want some material stuff or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. But just set your boundaries. This is also the message. You can actually find a very very good and nice woman, but you have to really keep your eyes open. And really, really test and check out with whom you actually have contact here. What about the coupled ones? Some nightmares, some flirting and setting boundaries and um, jealousy. That could be just jealousy here. You have to communicate. Maybe the, the, your, your partner is not really willing to make any kind of therapy or, or, or getting a coach because I, I have the feeling that maybe the partners here, your partner or something, is just a little bit like uh, just enjoying your, the, the life and a little bit um, not taking stuff serious and not willing to me really make it safe. That could be also. What I'm also getting for some of you is maybe the good times are they are just in the past and maybe it would be better to move on. But not for everybody. You have to check it, of course, for your own situation. But this is what just what general things are, cars are saying like that. Yeah, you have very good friends and family. This is very, very nice. Everybody is like free-minded and open-minded and talkative and uh, very communicative. And uh, it's just like everybody feels free. <laughs> Maybe uh, more people have vacations and you can just um, have a very good time with friends and family. And I wish you a very good time. Bye-bye. 
I'm also doing private readings. If you would like to have a private reading with me, then please write me an email. The email address is standing in the info box. I'm working for many years with the numerology, with the human design, with the astrology, and then I'm comparing really the systems together. And then when I just see it's making click, <laughs> then uh, it's a very good sign to be on the exact right way. So, <laughs> it would be very nice to work together and if you don't have any issues, then I'm also totally happy for you and that should uh, just be and stay like that. We are here on this earth and on this planet to really enjoy our lives and I hope that you enjoyed um, the video and please like it and please subscribe to my channel, then you also will have all the further information and all the news and um, my forecast will go on but they would change a little bit but i think that you will really like it so please take uh, stay tuned and have a good time nice christmas and a happy new year see you bye bye